Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. It's Loretta with Sparrowhawker Designs. Um, I'm going to try to do this tutorial on the flowers that I made, uh, but um, I'm, it's going to be upside down. But I, I think it'll work out because it's not really a directional thing. <laughs> so, um, so, I showed you guys these uh, flowers that I had made. This is only a five petal. Um, the one I put, I was going to use on the cover of a book was a six petal, which is already on the book, so I can't show you. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I would show you how to, how to make these. Now, I learned how to make these from a retreat that I was at. I can't even tell you, like, what year it was. I have no idea. So, I've went on ahead and sewn five of them so that I only have to show you how to do the last one. Um, and then we're going to put, um a yo-yo in the center instead of this flowered thing. So what you're going to need is um, six circles. So I cut a bunch out because I'm going to make some more. So this measures, uh, these measure two and a half, two and a half inches. You can do them in any size you want. Um, you can do them in any, uh, this happens to be cotton. Uh, this was a shower curtain. Um, you can do them in any size you want. Just the, you know, just know if you make them bigger than two and a half, it's going to be bigger than this flower. And this flower is about two and a half. Yeah. Um, and if you make them smaller, you're going to have a smaller flower. That's the difference. So what you do is you take these, uh, you take one of your circles and you, <coughs> excuse me, fold it in half. And then... Uh, you take a needle and a thread. I doubled up my thread. You don't have to, but I, I, I've noticed that on some fabrics, it'll, um, it'll, the thread's more likely to come through if you only have a single thread. And of course, the sun's going to come out right now, so, you know. <laughs> anyway, you just start where the fold is. You put your needle in, and, uh, and some of you may know how to do this already, you know, but I had a couple people ask me how I made the other one. And basically what I do is, I don't really even move the needle. I just kind of move the uh, fabric back and forth over the needle, like that. And then I pull it. And so you want to pull it to where it's tight. And then, I have no idea if this is showing it. That's the thing about, like if I'm not looking through the camera, I don't really know what you're seeing <laughs> until it's done and over with. So if you're seeing this video, it means I watched it and I deemed it good enough to put up on YouTube. <laughs> um, so basically what you're doing is you're, you want to make sure that you sew, um, when you fold it in half like that, you're sewing the two loose edges and the folded edge is going to be the top of your petal of your flower. So um, you just keep... The reason I went on ahead and did these was because, seriously, I mean, after you've seen me push this fabric back and forth across a needle, like, you know, 50 times, you probably figured out how to do it. Um, so, uh, yeah, because um, <clears throat> I have I have arthritis, and some days it's worse than others. And I hate saying, like, I have arthritis because I just remind myself of my aunt who's constantly like I got arthritis but I do I have it and there you go it's a fact so um so it's easier for me to uh to push the fabric like to make big movements rather than little tiny movements with my fingers if that makes sense um so anyway by the time you get your sixth petal on you've got something that looks like this and so like let's just say if this was like only the first petal then you would just start with the second one so you can make them individually if you want to like you could you could sew each one tie it off make a knot and then at the end sew them all together I just prefer to just sew them all in a line so when you get to the end of the last one then you just find where the end of uh, the other uh, where the very first petal was and you go in there and then you pull tight now this time I'm going to have a pretty big center. Uh, I must not have pulled tight enough, but anyway, whatever. <laughs> um, so then what I tend to do after that is I tend to go back through 
the parts that I've already sewn just to just to get it to pull really tight and to get um, and to make sure it's secure so now this is pretty big so okay actually that is gonna work but like that definitely would not work for um, a small a piece like this and I think what the difference is the difference in the fabric so the cotton does not scrunch down as much as this curtain material did so um, anyway you just go around and reinforce it and then eventually you tie a knot like I'm just going to tie my knot whoops Got it wrapped around the flower. Um, I find that the like the shower curtain material that I use, or like uh, satin or silk or whatever, is a little more fiddlier than cotton. I really love cotton. Uh, I know a lot of people are kind of anti-cotton. They think it's like you know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know, but uh, but I actually really love cotton. So um, anyway, there you go. And then the yo-yo, I'm going to um, glue the yo-yo in the middle. Actually, this might not be a big enough yo-yo. I might have to make a bigger yo-yo. And, uh, and then I will either sew it or glue it down onto a piece of felt like I did here. And I probably will put a button in the center because I don't really, I don't know, I don't like the look of the open yo-yo like that. But anyway, that's how you make them. Um, to make the yo-yos, uh, I probably won't do this whole thing on camera, but um, there actually there are uh, little plastic things you can buy at like Walmart or maybe not Walmart. I think I bought mine at Hobby Lobby years ago, but they don't carry them anymore. I'm looking to see if I have one laying around my desk anywhere, but I don't see one. Anyway, there are these little plastic round things and... Um, they have uh, little holes around the edge, and you put your piece of fabric in the plastic, and then you put the other piece of plastic on top, and then you sew up and down the holes. Then you pull the plastic off, you pull this out, and then you pull it, and it turns into a yo-yo, like this. <laughs> okay? But if you don't have that piece of plastic, which I did not have for years, um, the way I make uh, my yo-yos is basically, basically, kind of how you sew these. You just kind of pull the edge over, and... Um, you just do a running stitch. I don't know if you can see that or not. I have no idea if I'm in focus. I don't, you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, you just, and I apologize for my hands. I work at a public library, and um, so I'm washing my hands constantly when I'm at work. And the soap that they give us is just so, I, I, I don't know. It, like, turns your hands to sandpaper almost instantly. So, anyway, you pull that through, and... You pull, I try not to pull too much at first because then when you get to the edge you have trouble getting your needle in. And I, I like I said, I'm not going to do this whole thing. But basically that's, that's what you do. And then as you come to the next part, it's okay if you get a little bit of a fold in there too. When you come to the next part, you just fold the fabric over a little. You don't want it too much because then you'll make your yo-yo too small. Well, gosh darn it. Anyway, so there you go, and you do that, and then pull through, like that, and then the next piece, you fold over like that, Um, it, and if you want to buy those um, little yo-yo makers, they come in three different sizes. Actually, I think you can still get them at Joann's. Uh, they're with the uh, quilting rulers and stuff. Um, uh, they come in three different sizes, and um, they are not super expensive. I, th I think maybe they're like 6 or $7, something like that. Um, but honestly... I think you get a little more of a consistent circle and a consistent tension with those little plastic things, but I, uh, it to me it, it doesn't make it go any faster because I have to 
piddle with getting the fabric cause into the circle because you don't want your fabric to be too big on those little plastic things because then um, you have uh, it, it's too it's well I, never mind <laughs> it's too much fabric for the um, okay so now I'm gonna st oops I got my thread going weird but I'm gonna stop and see if this actually turned out like if it's actually usable and if it is I will put it up on YouTube and if it isn't I'm gonna remake it and you will never know the difference <laughs> anyway uh, so yeah um, so anyway you just keep going around like that and then uh, at the end you pull and you will get a yo-yo and uh, like I said the great thing about those plastic things is that you will get consistent yo-yo sizes um, where uh, with these even though you might have all the same size circle depending on um, how much you pull your what your tension is you could get slightly slight variations in your size but yeah anyway and uh, there's that and like I put this one has one two three Oh, no, that's a root. This is a ruched flower. Sorry, something totally different. <laughs> uh, five. I think all the examples I have of this flower, um, I'll have six petal or five petals. So, except for the one I just made, which was six. Um, but, uh, yeah, and depending on, like I said, depending on the fabric you use, you're going to get possibly a bigger hole. So you're going to need something bigger. Like, I'm not sure this will cover it. It might... But anyway, um, <clears throat> so, and then, uh, yeah, this is a ruched flower that I did, and I put a button in the middle of it, and this is what the ruched flower looks like before you put anything in the middle of it, and that is, um, you just take a piece of fabric, and you fold it over, and you just start sewing in a zigzag, and then you pull, and you get this ruched thing that looks kind of like, <clears throat> kind of like this. When you're done, only you just sew it together and you start piddling with it until you get a flower. Anyway, uh, but that is the tutorial on this kind of flower. So, uh, like I said, um, you just need circles. Two and a half, I made two and a half inch circles to get the size flower uh, in any kind of fabric. Just know that... Um, uh, just and you can do I, I guess you probably if I had made this with five petals the hole would have been smaller so um, so yeah just and also if I'd made it with different fabric so just know that the fabric choice that you have um, matters in how small you can scrunch it because cotton can't apparently get scrunched down as much as your synthetic lightweight things can so anyway um, and the size of your uh, petal and and actually was something like this I this is also a two and a half inch circle I probably could have made maybe a three inch circle and uh, did a yo-yo like that and that would that would cover this just fine so anyway all right guys uh, have a great day I hope everybody's taking care um, so far, the coronavirus has not hit where I live, so that's a good thing. Um, and uh, I hope you guys are all safe. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. See you next time.